It's been a long-standing meme, a goof, a gaff even, that Grand Blue is a diving anime. I know, right? Get a load of this. Society. Because in reality, we all know it's a drinking anime. But is it really? In this video, I'll be mathematically proving whether Grand Blue can officially be considered a drinking or diving work by taking every single scene from both seasons featuring either activity and comparing their total run times to get a definitive answer to our age-old question. This way, you'll get a brief review of how much drinking and diving occurred in each episode as well. Starting with Season 1, Episode 1, the very first scene of Grand Blue features Nanaka and Chisa diving which lasts 12 seconds. I should take this time to clarify that I'll be counting scenes related to diving as well, such as the safety tips and the training the gang goes through too, along with obviously the act of scuba diving itself. Back to episode 1. Not even 2 minutes afterwards, we get our very first scene of drinking slash partying, when Iori opens the double doors of Grand Blue to find Peekaboo playing strip RPS, which in total is on screen for 5 seconds. As for the criteria of what counts as partying, it's going to be whenever a character has a drink in hand, along with any of the associated party games, and drinking adjacents like hangovers or drink mixing. Basically anything that evokes the drinking culture of the work. After reuniting, Nanaka and Iori handle wetsuits, which does count as a diving related sequence. And from here on out, I won't be mentioning how long each scene's durations are anymore, or else it'll get really repetitive. Instead, I'll kind of just recap each edited scene and log the number of seconds slash minutes on the back end, and give you totals at the end of certain episodes to give you a good idea of where the race is at. Anyway, after re-entering Grand Blue, we're greeted by Kotobuki's cheeks as Peekaboo continues their party from before Iori arrived, where Tokita and Kotobuki convince him to join in. And join him he does when we see Chisa return to Grand Blue and reunites with him after 10 years. The next day, Iori wakes up hungover from the after party with Tokita and Kotobuki in front of Izu Yu's auditorium. Later in the day is a Peekaboo freshman welcome party, where the famous lighter gag and this line originate from. Oh God! Something to note is there's a huge turnout for this welcome party that even Yamamoto pulled up. But funnily enough, only three of the actual freshmen end up joining Peekaboo as we know that Iori, Kohei, Chisa, and later Aina are the only freshmen in the club. Tangent aside, episode 1 ends with a hangover scene featuring Iori and Kohei. So far, drinking has a massive lead, but can episode 2 shorten the gap? Since there's next to no drinking in that one? Episode 2 is mainly diving focused as Iori and Kohei begin their pool training, which takes up a majority of the second half of the episode. And I'll be counting the scene where Nanaka takes Iori to the aquarium, as it acts as a vehicle for diving to be used in the main plotline. There is one single instance of alcohol in this episode though, which is after Iori gets relocated to a detached room. Surprisingly enough, this episode actually closes the gap by quite a bit. Episode 3 includes a scene where Tokita and Kotobuki introduce various pieces of diving equipment to Iori and Kohei. Later, they get their wetsuits fitted, followed by their first dive, where Iori finally gets the hype behind diving with the help of Kotobuki. And the immediate next scene has beers clanking together as the Peekaboo boys celebrate the first year's first dives. The next day, Iori wakes up hungover, finding Azus and the rest of the Peekaboo boys in his room from the previous night of drinking. Naturally, there's a ton of alcohol consumption when Iori and Kohei try to convince Chisa to take part in the miscon, followed by even more drinking at the Peekaboo party later that night, where they play strip RPS until Iori and Kohei black out, where the episode ends. Honestly, it's still neck and neck right now, which is not what I expected when I came up with the video idea. I straight up thought it'd be a landslide for drinking. But episode 4 has some light drinking in the beginning, with the beers given to the first years. Later, Drunk Aina hits on Kohei, and since I'm going off of the Blu-ray edition of season 1, there's a cut scene that didn't make it into the aired version that extends the peekaboo party with the rugby club. Outside of that, Drunk Aina returns, and after the pageant, Peekaboo holds another party where Aina joins them in celebrating. The next day, Iori and Kohei are extremely hungover and continue to be so even throughout the awards ceremony. And since this was the first episode with zero diving in it, drinking regains the advantage. Can diving keep up once we get to? Episode 5 is another entry without diving. It has a short scene where the three Peekaboo senpais can be seen light drinking, which continues on even after Aina joins the club. Later on, the mixer features the scumbros getting forced fed, forced drunk, alcohol, and Yori chugs a bottle for 8 seconds straight. And at the end of the episode, they can be seen getting rowdy after a few rounds of beer. Which is funny because even Nojima and Yamamoto strip, despite not being peekaboo members. Episode 6 marks the return of diving in our drinking anime. But before that is Aina's welcome party, where it seems like an all hands on deck for peekaboo. 
This is a first though, as during the party, the girls start discussing diving, making the counted runtime parallel for once. After running out and subsequently refilling on booze, comes the part where Iori and Kohei learn about hand signals, which is so far the longest uninterrupted scene about diving in the anime, and it's not even in water. And speaking of water, the episode ends with just that, as Peekaboo go on their first dive with all 8 core members now that Aina has joined. And thanks to that, our totals are not so lopsided anymore. However, episode 7 once again features zero diving. Instead, there's only light drinking with the scumbros. And during the tennis match against Tinkerbell, there's also some drinking from both sides. Which is where this classic gag comes from. And the episode ends with foreshadowing Otori, which isn't the act of drinking itself, but more like alluding to it, so I'm gonna count it here. Overall, not too much drinking in this one, as there was a lack of an actual peekaboo party in this one. Episode 8 goes a lot more into the drinking aspect of Grand Blue, as the first half of the episode is where Iori and Kohei try their hands at bartending with Kotobuki. While they themselves aren't drinking, Grand Blue does highlight how to make several drinks in this sequence, so I'm counting it. And the second half of the episode has a scum bros party with light drinking involved, which continues into the beginning of episode 9 after cock blocking Mitrai. Later, before the King's Game plotline, we can see Peekaboo setting up for a party, with alcohol literally in frame. But not a drop was consumed on screen during it, so I can't really count this rare, dry peekaboo party. However, later there is a round of beers during the rugby mixer that Tokita set up. The second half of the episode balances out the ratio by being exclusively about diving as the new first years go to buy gear in preparation for their upcoming Okinawa trip. Since episode 10 through 12's premise is that Peekaboo are going to Okinawa with the main purpose of diving, all three full episodes could count, but since there are multiple scenes that are more slice of lifey, it sort of feels disingenuous to blanket them all like that. So anyway, the first drinking at Okinawa occurs the second Peekaboo touched down, and later it is a pretty brief one as Azusa is the only one with the beer in hand. Though the second half of the episode is purely about diving, as Iori and Kohei get quizzed on real diving license questions followed by the written test, and later the practical training, which I want to say gives the most applicable diving training knowledge in the whole season, which in turn really boosts diving's runtime by a ton. The penultimate episode of season 1 has surprisingly little drinking in it, as there's a brief scene of the senpai sipping on beers, and some right before peekaboo eat dinner. The diving portion focuses on Iori practicing mass clears in a pool, and nearing the end of the episode, Azusa and Iori get blackout drunk off vodka and a ton of beers. Alright, the final episode of season 1 is split 50-50, as the first half of the episode features the Mia Kojima dives, which is the most diving done in the whole season, while the second half has Otori, which is essentially drinking Ultra Nightmare mode. And the moment you've all been waiting for, at least for the first season. In Grand Blue Season 1, the total screen time allocated to diving is 46 minutes, and the allocated time for drinking is 46.9 minutes. That is insanely close, and not at all what I expected. Meaning excluding openings and endings, diving and drinking each make up roughly 18% of the entirety of Season 1. Alright, before we go to Season 2, I should share my initial thoughts before performing the calculations. I think Season 2 has less of both diving and drinking in general, as the story focuses heavily on the characters and their interpersonal relationships. Anyway, starting with Season 2 Episode 1, just like its Season 1 counterpart, it opens with the diving sequence, this time featuring Iori and Chisa. And the only drinking is partially off-screen when Iori joins a peekaboo party. And later there's a short scene of him and Kohei drinking beers before dinner during the house-sitting plotline. Though, the drinking and diving overlap in episode 2, as Iori finishes his diving license course along with the episode featuring Shiori's first dive, followed by a peekaboo party, where there is some discussion about the aforementioned dives. As you can probably tell, we'll be flying through season 2 compared to 1. In episode 3, after Shiori leaves Izu, the senpais crack open cold ones, along with this telepathy scene from Kohei, which like, sorta of counts-ish? <laughs> Afterwards is the association game plotline, where Aina gets absolutely blasted. And I will be counting Yori's tech here, given the context of the scene. Though the only diving related part of this episode is when Yori takes in the wetsuits. Other than that, the episode ends with him drinking with the senpais at Bar Roots, tipping the balance back into drinking's favor. 
Episode 4 starts with the girls party, which occupies most of the first half of the episode. And for some reason, the anime altered it. Where after getting kicked out, Yori and Kohei can actually be seen walking to a peekaboo party in the manga. Which I can't actually count this time, as there's no indicator that would lead you to believe that they were about to party in this shot of the anime. There's no sound effects of a party, and neither of them are carrying any booze. Either way, the next day, Toshio and Yori talk about Nanaka's alcohol tolerance. And that's it actually, there was literally zero drinking or diving in the second half of the episode, as it featured a Scumbro's ticket contest instead. I really wasn't joking when I said there was a lot less of both in this season. If you watched episode 5 as your first exposure of Grand Blue, you wouldn't even know this show was related to diving whatsoever. And maybe even drinking, because the only alcoholic scenes are when Iori suggests cocktails for the scum bros and asks Aina for spiritus, making this the least Grand Bluey episode ever so far, within the scuba booze context. Despite being a direct continuation, episode 6 has a decent amount more of drinking in it, but only in one scene, where the scum bros and Sakurako's group hang out, which consumption doesn't actually start until after Kohei leaves. And yes, I'm counting THE scene. Because beer's in it, and just because of how goaded it is. We're already halfway through season 2, and there's been less drinking in all of it than season 1 episode 8 alone. Though season 2 episode 7 continues the trend, as there's light to moderate drinking done at the club camping trip, for all of Peekaboo except Chisa who gets pretty wasted. And the whole drunk conversation sequence is not only relatively lengthy, but pretty important to the main plot as well. However, there would have been more drinking scenes if they had just kept the magic show gag from the manga. And if you want to know what else changed between the manga and anime, I have a full series detailing just that if you're interested. Episode 8 breaks the 3 episode streak of no diving, as it actually has more diving than drinking in this one. Though, to backtrack, there's this gag again. That still makes me laugh to this day. Then diving retakes center stage when Iori and Otia find out that they're both divers, which is followed by a sequence where Iori's co-workers and Peekaboo go on two dives. Though, that's not to say that there's no drinking in this episode, as Peekaboo hold a party to celebrate meeting Sakurako and Otia. Somehow, after the least Grand Bluey episode in Season 2, we get the most Grand Bluey episode in Season 2. Though in episode 9, diving and drinking both take back seats again, as the only drinking done is during sporadic shots of the party from the previous episode, and then much later when Iroi and Sakurako discuss strategies on how to charm Ultia. And then finally during the other goaded scene in the season, where Iroi gives Sakurako a cheer up beer. Episode 10 has very little drinking in it as well, which comes in the form of Iori and Aina's date, once they eat at an izakaya, followed shortly by a peekaboo party in the same night, and the only diving related aspect is the gear that presumably Chisa included into Aina's potential living arrangement. There's not a ton of diving related scenes in episode 11, but they're on screen now, and the latter example honestly hardly qualifies since Iori tricked Chisa, as it's explicitly stated that there are no plans for diving via Kotobuki. Later on the island, Kudo explains Russian Mary Roulette, which involves Bloody Marys, and Pikachu would then party on the island with beers and actually ends up playing Tinkerbell's game, where Chisa gets absolutely annihilated. And this takes us to the end of the episode. And finally, in episode 12, we get to close off the season with both staples that Grand Blue's known for. Starting with drinking, we get a return of this gag when Kohei does it to Kudo. And speaking of, the Tinkerbell president drinks whiskey after eating the out of season Mukago, which overlaps with when Ultia tells Iroi and Kohei about their club's senpai send off. And finally, we get our last diving sequence of the season when Nanaka, Iori, and Chisa dive with some customers. And the latter two are the final characters to drink in this season when discussing the Peekaboo Senpai send off. And as for the total time of diving and drinking during season 2, diving totals to 13.5 minutes while drinking makes up 25.7 minutes. As a quick reminder, season 1 had roughly 46 minutes of each, meaning season 2 really, really cut back on both. And that would mean the final total would be, there's approximately 59 minutes of diving and 1 hour and 12 minutes of drinking throughout both seasons of Grand Blue. 
All right, that should definitively prove it. Grand Blue is indeed a drinking anime. But if I made this video before season two came out, aka the last seven years, surprisingly, you could call it a diving anime as well, which is the ultimate conclusion from me. Did the results surprise you or did you expect it? Let me know in the comments and I do read all of them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week for a surprise video that I didn't actually tease last week.